Even the best companies are suffering attrition right now. If you haven't done so already, it's worth considering what your company's stance is when it comes to making a counteroffer. In the instance that one of your team does decide to leave, or perhaps they hand their notice in or communicate that they've had another offer, don't rush. Take your time, try to really understand what it was that led them to even consider a move in the first place. Ensure that you get to the root of their rationale. Remember, a counteroffer doesn't necessarily mean that you need to throw more money at the problem. Often when we deal with candidates who are looking to move, it can come down to an array of things, such as flexibility with work, career progression, and company culture. Loop in HR as soon as you can. This will help you to make sure that you don't make any promises that you can't keep. Remember, counteroffers should never challenge your internal equity. Do consider how it might impact the broader team. People do talk. Counteroffers are often short-term solutions. Do revisit your long-term retention strategy. And when you do so, remember to take insight from your employees. Don't assume that you know exactly what they want. Lastly, you should never stop generating a pipeline of candidates. Always try and ensure that you can have a handle on where the best candidates are. If you want to know any more about retaining or attracting talent, don't hesitate to get in touch.